Hi, my name is Denise Shaw. Thank you so much for joining me on my mat today. I am going to be taking you through a 30 minute yoga recovery session. Now, before we begin, you may need a few props. I have a yoga block here. If you don't have one of these, a towel will work out just fine. Another thing that will, that may be helpful for you is a yoga strap. If you don't have one, you can simply use a one. So let's start by finding a comfortable seated position on the mat. Crisscross applesauce is a favorite of mine as my kids see. So sitting up nice and tall, hands on my knees, we're gonna begin by starting with three cleansing breaths. Bringing our hands up to the ceiling, reaching. And then exhaling through heart center. Big inhale. Exhaling through heart center. Big inhale. And exhale. Keeping your hands at heart center, I'd like for you to close your eyes and set an intention for this practice. There are a lot of things that we must do today. There are a lot of things that are causing stressors in our lives. There are a lot of things on your mind. I ask that for the next 30 minutes, you let love and light into your heart. Let love and light shine through so that you can focus inward and take 30 minutes to yourself. Think of something that makes you happy, whether it's a conversation you had with somebody, a picture, a thought, a moment in time. And let that moment in time give you some love and light in your heart. And as you drift away at this practice and you start thinking of that to-do list, you come back to this. Let it shine through, let it guide you, throughout this entire practice. So think about that. Give yourself a few breaths to think about that. And when you're ready, open your eyes. Big inhale, reaching your hands up to the ceiling. Exhale, gentle twist to your right. Left hand comes to right knee. Looking over my right shoulder, right hand is on the floor for support. Slowly unwind, big inhale, reaching all the way up. Exhale, right hand comes down to the left, and a gentle twist. I'm pushing against that knee so I can get that good twist. Exhale. Let's take another big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Now a little bit uncomfortable here. Reaching forward, walking those fingertips forward. You can reach for your block or for your towel, using that for support. Trying to melt your belly down to the floor. really don't care how you breathe as long as you're breathing and not holding those breaths if it's big inhale and exhale through your nose or releasing through your mouth whatever works for you this is your practice walk those hands back let's go into a wide leg forward fold so adjust yourself here getting to, into a nice wide legged stance bringing your hands up Right arm comes down, left arm comes up and over, reaching for my foot, and then I'm revolving open. Chest is going to the ceiling. Shoulder is opening back. Then I'm gonna twist. Chest comes to my knee. 
Now, if you need your strap, go ahead and take that around your foot and hold. Walking your hands all the way over to the left side. Left arm comes down, right arm comes up and over. Now see my chest is coming down. I want to revolve that chest open up to the ceiling. Yes, uncomfortable. And now revolve down to your leg, grabbing your strap if you need to. Forward fold. We're at about three deep breaths for each stretch here right now. Beautiful, release. Walk your hands forward, come down to that full stretch. I'm going to get into the stretch by pushing my hips forward, but I'm gonna use my block so that I'm comfortable and I can rest my head on this block. Now once I'm in the stretch, I want to try to release my muscles and melt into the fold. Stay focused. Together, back into crisscross applesauce. Come forward. I'm going to turn to the side as most of you are on the top of your mat. We're going to take a couple cat and cow poses here just to release your spine and your back and enjoy. So, do what you need to do to get some of that mobility into your back, shifting your hips side to side. Coming down, doing your cat and cow poses, pressing back. Take your left arm forward and your right leg out. Reaching, reaching forward, lengthening that leg back, reaching your left hand and your foot and kicking back. Breathe. A little bit uncomfortable, a little bit of a baby back bend here. I'm kicking my leg into my arm and release. Right arm comes out, left leg comes out, lengthening, reaching for the inside of my foot, baby back in here. Pressing back into our child's pose, have your feet apart, have your knees apart so that you can melt your belly and your chest down in through your legs, walking your hands out, melting into the ground, reaching your fingertips forward. Really melt into the mat. Up our toes under and come up into our first downward facing dog. Pressing all four corners of our fingers, our palms of our hands, and our toes and our feet all into the ground. Pushing back, pushing through our shoulders, making sure our hips and our glutes are pushing back up into the ceiling. Now we're going to add a stretch here. You're going to take your right hand and reach for that for your ankle on the opposite side. If this is too intense for you, walk your feet forward a bit, shortening your stance, taking your right hand, reaching for your left ankle and pulling 
This is such a good stretch and through your back. Light and love. If you're drifting, if this is painful, take those deep breaths. Go back to your intention. And let's switch sides again. About three breaths for pose. Back to, to downward facing dog. Widen your stance if you shortened it. Taking your left leg up, reaching high for the sky, stacking up your left hip over your right hip. If you want to do a waterfall, go ahead. If not, stay here. Feel that through my glute and my hip and my side body. Taking that left leg down, now let's repeat. Right leg comes up. Stacking your hips on top of each other. Taking that right leg down and let's release into child's pose. So now that you're in that child's pose, we're gonna come up to a downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, take the right leg up. Place that right leg in between your hands. Releasing that back foot, and if you can, walk that back leg back just a tad. Standing up nice and tall. Taking some deep breaths here, pressing that hip flexor forward, getting that nice stretch. As I flex forward, I'm flexing my glute to activate that muscle, and I'm releasing that leg down into the ground. Twist over to my left leg. I'm gonna line up on the side of my left leg, pressing through my side body, twisting over, over my left leg. My toes are gonna come forward so I don't stress my knee. Three deep breaths here, really getting that side body stretch. Now we're going to get a hamstring stretch. Leaning over our front leg. Trying to get our forehead down to our shin if that's possible. This is fairly uncomfortable for me, so if you need to grab your props just to hold on to. Releasing that leg forward, pushing your prop to the side, bearing down into your hands, lifting that left leg up and down. Shooting that right leg up high to the sky. We're gonna repeat it on the other side. Swing our left foot, a nice deep lunge. Hopefully here you'll be able to see. I'm getting that hip flexor stretch, pushing that hip flexor forward, lengthening that leg back, Sinking into my lunge. Ooh, nice big stretch here. If you want to take it further, you can lengthen your knee. Lengthening your leg by pushing your knee back a little bit more. Getting into a deeper stretch. So for me, I found my edge right here. It's pretty deep. Channeling that positive energy. Stretching, coming onto the side of my right leg. Nice side body stretch here, that's what I'm feeling. Coming back, extending back into my hamstring stretch. 
forehead is reaching for the shin if possible. Or hands come to the side, or you can just stay right here. That's a okay. We're releasing, planting those hands down to the floor. Left leg shoots high to the sky. And down. If you need to take a child's pose, go ahead right here. Coming back up to all fours, reaching into that downward facing dog. Now we're gonna get into our pigeon stretch. Again, right leg high to the sky, swing that right leg through, left leg comes out. So again, same concept as earlier. You can take your feet, walk them back, releasing your toes. So here's where you may need a little bit more support. Propping a towel helps with this, or using the towel right up in front. Using it as a pillow as you melt your body forward. Now you can you melt your body forward, keeping your hands here, or using your arms as a pillow. And anytime I'm in, I'm in pigeon pose, I like to kind of stretch side to side so that I can get deeper into that stretch. So I'll leave it up to you what works best. And play with this. If you want a deeper stretch, adjust yourself. I challenge you to stay on top of your pose versus leaning towards the side. So stay on top of this, and as it's uncomfortable as it may feel, please breathe through the stretch. And we'll take about five deep breaths through this pose. Right leg up high to the sky. Shake it out if you need to, and we're gonna repeat on the same side. So nice, strong downward facing dog. Bringing that left leg up high to the sky, swinging it into your pigeon pose. Lengthening your right leg back. Now, true pigeon pose is your shin is parallel to the front of the mat, and I cannot do that. So, do the best you can. Finding yourself in a position that works for you. Big inhale here and exhale forward fold. We're going to take five deep breaths in this pose. Try not to fall asleep on me. Use your deep breaths to guide you. going to stretch the top, the tops of our feet. You take your hands back and you lift your knees up. And you can stop here if you want a little bit more. You can take your hands in prayer. This is so hard for me. Or your hands up. But I'm going to go back here and I want to get a big deep stretch. So I'm going to keep my hands down, lift those knees up. Two more breaths. And let's 
come up to tabletop and shake. Just do some ankle circles here. Let's meet up in plank. Slowly take it down, all the way down to downward facing dog and into upward facing dog, excuse me. Nice big stretch. Back up, plank. Take it down to your mat again, slow descend. Great, right arm comes out. Left leg comes over for a scorpion stretch. Really plant that foot down. Shoulders open up to the ceiling to get a nice big stretch. Release, let's repeat the same on the other side. Right leg comes up and over, planting that leg, dip that foot down, reaching, revolving open. Thread the needle, left arm comes under, really reaching out to the side, and then right arm comes up. It can stay here, it can come up, or it can reach behind you. You can reach for your left thigh. Nice big deep breath. Same for the other side. Right arm comes under, left arm comes up. I'm gonna take my hand down, reach for the inside of my right thigh. Let's do another downward facing dog here. Walking our feet towards our hand. Reaching for the ground. Let's take our right arm up. Our left arm up. And down. We're going to grab here and we're going to clasp. Getting into that nice stretch. I'm melting my chest down. It's sitting on my thighs and I'm going to try to straighten. Take your hands, that clasp back as far as you can. Slowly, slowly releasing as you stand up. As you get out, let's make our way down to our mat. Ooh, giving yourself a big hug, rolling side to side from doing all those things. Take our right leg down and let's go into figure four. Let left leg crosses over, reaching under, threading the needle this way. Dropping our knees over to the right, keeping that twist. Right arm comes to the side. Left arm is down on the floor. Actually, we're going to keep our right hand on our knee. Gaze is over our left shoulder, trying to press that shoulder down to the ground. Back again. Gonna hug those knees. Let's do a figure four on the other side. So the right leg is going to be on top and then a pull. You guys are doing great. We're almost done. You're doing so good. Let's 
dropping that bind onto the left side. Right arm comes up, right shoulder stays down. and pushing your knees down into the ground. Roll side to side. Massage that back. Pause and press down. Bring those legs together. We're going to Go into our final pose, but before we do so, let's get a nice long stretch. Stretch out, reach, elongate. Let's take our hands to our side, palms facing upwards. And let's go into our final resting pose. So within this pose, we're gonna let our feet fall where they fall. Relax our legs. Let our hips sink into the mat. Our shoulders. Release them, pushing down away from our ears. Hands fall to the side. Relax our head. Relax our neck. Relax that pimple right in between our eyebrows. Find our moment of stillness, a little bit of meditation. that you found today. Share that with whomever you talk to, whoever you come in contact with them. Give them that light and love that you shared with yourself. Raise your hands to your forehead as a sign of right thoughts, down to your lips as a sign of right words, and down to your heart as a sign of my intention. I appreciate your time and the 30 minutes that you spent with me today. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you and namaste.